actually we are looking at how popular culture invade through ptv dramas in different periods and phases of its history communicated one sided biased views about women in pakistan so here our focus would be the second phase of ptv dramas this is the period uh, of 1980s and uh, here first of all uh, i would like to explain the term liberal liberal means free exercise of speech on any topic or issue this is called liberality so there is no restriction even you can talk against established norms settled values this is what uh, is called liberality in this phase when we say liberal turn it means there was a turn from moral and cultural and traditional values to liberality here playwrights could select those themes which were restricted in the previous decade so they were open to them uh, for example jungle marvi and tapish these three plays were written by nurul huda shah a famous uh, playwright she targeted hush hush attitude of society chup karo is pe baat na karo hush so this topic is forbidden nobody can talk about it in public but they made these topics themes of their plays one of these topics was uh, rape and mal practices of spiritual healers jali peer babe and how they exploited women and uh, how they extorted money uh, of them uh, and uh, how they exploited their innocence etc and sometimes even uh, deprived them of their chastity modesty and the uh, same work is done by fortune tellers uh, the uh, the so called uh, people who tell you about your future okay and these are weaknesses of uh, women especially uh, these days the uh, male uh, are not free from this uh, uh, attitude uh, yet this uh, desire of going uh, to ask about future how, how, about marriages of uh, their daughters about uh, uh, the jobs of their uh, sons etc they go to such people and uh, easily become victim of these people so these dramas presented women uh, in this perspective and another thing was harassment or harassment both pronunciations are correct so the issue uh, from those which uh, i have uh, hinted at from these issues the most burning issue is harassment which is being faced even these days by women and female students in campuses in pakistan and you you might have heard so many uh, incidents of harassment in uh, public press in print media and electronic media what is it how we define harassment the act of annoying or worrying someone by putting pressure on them annoying and worrying tang karna kisi ko are saying or doing unpleasant things uh, this word is euphemistic asal mein iske andar ishara hai कि क्या अनप्लेजेंट थिंग्स हो सकती हैं तो बाय दिस कैन बी डन थ्रू सेइंग समथिंग हर्लिंग इंसल्ट्स मेकिंग सर्टेन जॉक्स आर डूइंग प्रैक्टिकली अनप्लेजेंट थिंग्स टू देम तो दिस इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ हैरसमेंट गिवन इन 
Oxford Dictionary. Now your task is keeping keeping in mind this definition of harassment. Read some online sources on this issue. Google पे जाएं and uh, write in search harassment in Pakistan and uh, you will find a lot of material on it. Select just one article, video, anything and uh, give answer to this question. Is it as serious an issue in Pakistan as is depicted in Huda Shah's place? This is your task. Asghar Nadeem Sayyaz, Piyas and Ghulam Gardish, etc. These plays present women, women of status in various classes. Uh, uh, present women's status in various classes. So this is something unique and different from other playwrights, which Asghar Nadeem Sayyad, uh, currently he is Dean of Languages at University of Lahore. So he is my favorite playwright. Now see, he links women's problem with social classes. This is what he did differently. And uh, these social classes are those about which nobody was allowed and even isn't allowed these days to say anything. They are peers, Vadera's and Khan's and Sainz and uh, lower class families. Uh, so uh, you can see gender working here in these families. Uh, through his dramas. This is uh, Piyas. Uh, you can watch some episode of Piyas from this website and another website you can watch an episode from Ghulam Gardish uh, at this website. Watch one episode. This task is based on your watching of these uh, episodes. Watch one episode from each Gulam Girdish and Piyas on YouTube. After that, compare women's roles and power in different social classes in Pakistan. And how would you discuss different uh, uh, statuses of women in different social classes in Pakistan? How can you uh, write about it as a sample? I have given you a website where you will find a research paper and uh, uh, leave everything else from this research paper. You don't need to read it thoroughly. Just move to the results of this research paper and uh, you uh, would follow uh, the same manner for writing your answer to this uh, task. Now we conclude that this phase of 80s presented gender stereotypes with reference to different social classes. And we have already discussed that gender cannot be studied without relating it with classes and race and ethnicity, linguistic group, Punjabi, Balochi. And that's why if you remember in previous modules, we said that there is different aspect of gender with reference to these different variables. And this is the reason that uh, we suggested, rather the researchers we quoted, they suggested that we should not use singular term femininity and masculinity, rather we should use plural terms masculinity and femininity because within the same social group, same social class, women uh, enjoy different status. They, in some they are very powerful, in some they are very powerful. For example, in peer families, women are very powerful. In Vadera families, uh, they are powerless. So variation goes on. In uh, lower class uh, families, they are powerless. So, this is our conclusion about the TV plays of 1980s.